Cool, we should be rolling. Uh, great, uh, it's great to be back. And this one will be with a video because I didn't record one with a video for, for a pretty long time. Hope everything is working all right. Hope, hope it works. Didn't check it before. Yeah, um, hope you're doing great. That's that's the first thing. Welcome back to the next episode of the Apex Show. I'm again recording at almost 1 a.m. <laughs> uh, usually, usually how I go about these things is that I try to front load as much work as I can on high priority tasks, which is essentially right now just getting getting done with uh, the stuff in school and and a few other stuff as well, and yeah, then just like pretty much, I. I'm very excited about speaking usually, or that's something that goes very easily for me. That's even one of the reasons why I usually uh, just record these videos in the end, at the end of the day. Cool, the topic, I have a monitor here, so if, you, if I'm just like looking there more often, just so know, just know. Uh, today I, I have a topic about decision you're not making, uh, That that's the name of the episode that I want to be speaking about. and. The the main ethos here is that it's easy to make decisions when you're choosing between one one miserable option and the second one which looks more promising. It's harder when you're choosing between two equally good opportunities for you. Then I have a few other notes prepared here as well, but I'll just like firstly like to start with this. So this was even kind of like a reflection of me uh, looking back at the last few months, years, and like essentially everything that happened. Um, it's in terms of everything what I've done, it's, it might be great. Like I'm from a certain standpoint, proud of myself, uh, from dif different standpoint, I know that if I would have just chosen a different path and just pursued it with more resilience, I might have been further ahead. How do you even say that? There are these essentially, there, there are many factors and even like, like we very recently, many people have been asking me in the last two or three months, not just one person, but multiple people have been asking me, okay, whether I should just go all out into business or rather just try to, for example, get, get a better, better edu education by going to college, university. And first off, I'm don't consider myself to be the most qualified person to be answering this, this in the first place. And if I just was supposed to give my two cents on this topic, it's there are many ways how I would approach this topic in the first place. There is a big difference in, in like going to college in the US versus going to college in, in Europe. US is a vastly different market in terms of the the dynamics, the um, like the people who are living there. Essentially, like US is made up of so many different cultures. And also how the education system works there. Like if you go to college, you usually like the kids. If if you're not funded by your parents, you usually get out with a debt of like 200 grand, which is doesn't really make sense in, in the current age. If I would be living there, and I like like that's the thing that I'm already kind of getting to the first lesson that I have that like every single one of us has a different life. And like there, these cards that you've been dealt with, you can be angry at yourself and like the cards might be good in a certain situation, but on the other hand, in a certain different situation, they might not be that good. And it's, it's just your thing. Like for one person that, for example, doesn't have such a great upbringing, he might have much more motivation than all the other people or other people who have might have a b better background. But on the other hand, like, um, like he might not be that, that well educated. So, I mean, like there, it's like a spectrum that you're really looking at. And this was maybe, I guess, like one of the things that didn't really show. And I even started like looking back, I started to go in a different direction that I didn't really like, uh, where I was going to that. I essentially like just speaking about that my childhood or essentially like the whole period was somehow bad. Uh, looking back and even traveling a lot, like essentially if you just compare all the child, like all the people living out there, like all the families, everyone that I've met, like I can re just really genuinely say that I had one of the most blessed childhoods that I, c I could have even hoped for. Like everything you can imagine, like I genuinely don't know a single other person who could be more privileged than I was or than I am. living in a 
great family with great people with people who are supporting you like i i don't genuinely have not one person who would be not supporting me in any way it's it just it's a different it's a different level it's just you have so many people and every single one of them is rooting for you if it's one grandpa if it's second grandpa if it's grand grandma if it's my uncle one uncle second uncle third uncle it's just my aunt my parents my sister it's just Pretty much just in terms of family, it, it, that, that's even the thing, like, it's very ho hard for you to compare yourself to influencers on social media or to anyone else, because they have been living such a different life. In terms of my, I'm bringing like, their, the main, how do you even say that, the main way how I usually tackle my upbringing, even if I want to speak about that in these videos or whatever else, it's just, I, I wish that I would have given it more in terms of how much resources I have and how much I utilize them. Um, there have never been <laughs> any significant problems. I have traveled the whole entire world. I have gotten the access to like the best education, I guess, in the whole country in terms of primary, secondary, secondary uh, and also high school, in terms of like just the caliber of teacher and everyone else. Like, if I just like my first, was it my first year? I guess my first year primary school class teacher was from Australia. And just like meeting these people from all around the world, just getting, getting to better know their cultures and everyone everything else and even getting to know english pretty decent i mean i'm not the best i mean, i know english pretty well but at the same time i know that i can improve my accent and i just really reflecting about the situation where i am is just like first off just really taking advantage of, of the resources that you have like just looking back at my life when i was growing up essentially like there were no problems around so i I followed the path of the release resistance, which for me, when I was 11, 12, was just playing video games and just like do doing some weird stuff. And this led me to the path of just really playing, play playing video games and just like becoming hooked, hooked to that, that stuff. And then only then just like gaining some motivation, just, just to like, just becoming really tired of myself, how I looked and everything else, which has ignited the spark for, in me just to go and like, just become a real, like a type personality who's really focused on achievement because that's like the thing that gives you the, the biggest drive. And like, th that's the thing that you can't compare my life to your life or your life to the life of anyone else you see on the internet, or at least like, that's my point of view. Maybe you can compare, but it's like just there's so many different things separating us and making us different, even in terms of like, if you're living in Europe versus living in the US, if you're living in the US, like that's the freaking wild west. It's such a different, world. And everything else is just, this is the thing, like you're actually taking decisions, you're making decisions whether to go and do something or whether to go do something else and what will bring you the better results. In terms of, for example, me, um, like there have been many instances in my life where I was just really deciding on whether to go full out entrepreneurship versus to whether to go and hedge my risks and like just through my education. And like many of those instances, I have just, <laughs> I guess like two instances, the first one was when I was in high school, I just like did a complete turnaround within two months. I just went from failing school to being like just straight, like passing with straight A's, like learning that stuff. And 
something very similar happened like yeah, and then i just got accepted to like this university where i'm currently at finishing it right now being a university of economics and business i mean like essentially just boiling it down even if i was like just just walking around the u.s and just meeting all those people and just like looking at the ways how those things are working there comparing the costs and benefits and like everything else is really encompassing encompassed here like i like it's it's somewhat somewhat luck that i just like randomly stumbled on this university where i just like was searching for university opportunities in in europe i'm i'm pointing there because i'm living like genuinely 50 meters 50 meters to my this is my left hand so like 50 meters there is the campus so i'm living on the campus as well and and just did a turnaround and, and go accepted there I'm now pretty much finishing the last six months. Now I'm a decent grades based on like essentially what my goals were in, in the beginning. And that's even the thing, like many and decisions you're not making, like that's the, the name of the podcast. And the thing here is that earlier I thought that there are certain things that you can do both both things at the same time or like there are certain decisions that you can help us in a sense not make the decision and just like you'll somehow get get through and like just here it's in terms of just going full out entrepreneurship versus going full out full out school i really feel that you get much more disproportionate returns if you like you can go both at the same time but just like refocus on maintaining your integrity integrity in terms of and even your performance level in terms of how well you perform because like doing something for the sake of doing it and just finishing it versus like just really focusing on quality like there are two different two, two big differences and even in terms of how that reflects on your identity in the end so sometimes like that's even the reason why i said that it's sometimes might be much more beneficial for you to or like in certain instances like if you for example are watching this or watching some of my other videos or watching whatever else like some other videos of fun on the internet and you just like see people who have or you see people who or you yourself reflect on your life and just really know that you're not that you might not have that big of a privilege like just know deeply know that you have So you you have certain things that that other people might not have, like the more privileged people might not have. And you can really use them. It, it's just like you, you're from a certain degree, you're just like painting on a white paper. You can just be the, be whatever you want. You're just like you don't have to fulfill any expectations. And just like all of these things. Uh, speaking from my personal experience, being a son of the doctor, it's just like pretty hard. Just okay, great. Um, like these expectations that you need to fulfill, not, not in terms of income, like that's okay, but in terms of like, okay, how, how much positive impact you're bringing to the world or whatever else. It's just like there are these, these little facets and in the end, you're just like in if you're pursuing multiple multiple things at the same time it's just like you feel that you're pursuing everything and not knowing what 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 thing what things to do, what thing to do first so yeah um i guess that was the first first lesson so be you don't try to be like someone else you won't be be yourself it's just like speaking about <laughs> If you like just accurately assessing where you're currently at and where you want to go and based on that making your shots and lesson two the decisions you're not making will carry a lot of weight with them are carrying a lot of weight uh, essentially like the decisions you're not making are the are the weight you're carrying on, on your shoulders and it's it's very hard if you have just like just a decision that you're contemplating about making all the time and you're not not, not making it and you're not taking it and then it just end, ends up eating you from the inside uh, <laughs> for me right now 
it's even like, okay, just what I just finally, after so many years of waiting, just finally tell myself like, okay, now is the freaking time to go all out into the things that I'm like, just have been, I haven't, have been planning for such a, such, such a long time. Or whether to again, postpone it and just how fast it for another two years because I've been accepted to a really good master's, master's program. It's, that's the thing. Like when the stuff is the hardest, then it really forces you to go to the next level. Like, like that's the stuff that really forces you to the next level. And when the stuff is not going right, when you look into the mirror and when you just see that your life is not going in the right direction. Maybe a short example for me, I am going to feel that <clears throat> like my diet is, is not on point and then everything else just filled a bit out of whack in the last few days. So I'm just going to get back on diet, but that, like just the way how I was, how I was eating food and stuff. But yeah, just like main, main point here is that even in terms of just reflecting on, on what the other people are writing me all the time, or like the guys, the young guys who were in a similar position as I was. Like I, essentially when I was 19, when I was just, how, how do I say it? Like, like these, these are the things that you were reflecting on. Like when I was 19, like there have been, how do I say that? I have two things I want to say. The first one is like, when I was 19, there were so many different opportunities I was pursuing. And even like my essential goal, even when I was accepted to this university and when I just finished my high school, I, so to say, told myself like that I have three months to get something going. And like, that was a, I, I randomly found one mentor and he was starting a company. It was a, it was a weird project. Uh, maybe, may, maybe sometime I'm going to tell you more about it, but at the same time, it's just like, to myself, like now it's the time to go. I have three months to just get it, get it off the ground. And I just like started grinding 100 hours a week. Uh, just started doing meetings. I, within those three months, I believe I had like 350 meetings. So I'm just like all, every day I was just like scheduling, calling and uh, doing meetings and traveling and just like burning cash that I had saved up. In the end, uh, it's just like the deadline for me was the 1st of October because then my college officially started and I was supposed to move like to Vienna from Slovakia to Vienna, which is like 50 kilometers. And I remember like just like the 1st of October or the 3rd of October came and I just like had nothing, uh, like burned more cash than I earned. And the whole project went bust and like just everything, everything kind of didn't work out as I planned in the woods. So, uh, like the only left decision that I had was like, okay, go here. And when I was here, like then for pretty much one year or so, like my next big, biggest priority was like, okay, I'm just like, don't want to finish this. I want to just get, get out, of, uh, get out of here. And yeah, then I, when essentially that happened. I dropped out. So to say, I just like, uh, packed everything from here, just moved moved out of this of this flat and, and just <laughs> flew to Bali where I've been for like one month or so. And yeah. Then I dropped in. <laughs> and I'm almost finished. It's just the best advice that I would, I guess, give, like, just, if you're not freaking grinding 16 hours a day, then start grinding. And if you start hitting a cap in terms of how much you're able to do, then go for something else. I guess like the older you get, the more you realize what's your situation and what you're standing or where you started and what resources you have in terms of like, just going for sales and just 
if you have nothing, then just freaking go all out. I would just definitely finish high school. Uh, I guess like that's the basic preliminary thing. I guess that even gives you more. I'm not sure if you have more legal competences. I'm not sure if for that. If you don't need uh, like a high school diploma just to be the the owner of a company uh, in a few countries, I'm not sure if that's the case, but yeah, essentially like just decision you're, you're not making. If, if I would <sighs> just make a decision and freaking go for it. Like that's, that's my, that's my two cents. If you're not making decision and contemplating about that, then just, it ends up eating you from the inside. I guess that's it. Nothing else to say. So yeah, uh, if you have any other topics that you'd like me to speak about, feel free to shoot me a message on my Instagram. And with that being said, I'm going to catch you in the next one.